Hello, everyone. I'm here with Dr. Christine Smith, um, a chiropractor and a doctor of functional medicine. So we just completed the final day of our NLP Master Practitioner training. I was a co-trainer for the Jaeger Group here in Utah. Why don't you um, Why don't you just talk about what you want to talk about after having experienced this training? Sure. So this has been incredibly interesting. And one of the reasons that I came here and I'm interested in this work is because I see people dealing with pain all the time. And when they're coming in repetitively with the same pain, after we've corrected musculature, we've corrected alignment, we've corrected nutrition, because I also do functional medicine. And functional medicine is about understanding someone as a whole person. And when we talk about holistic care and holistic medicine, we have to look at the mental emotional body. It is a component of holistic care. And when people keep coming in with repetitive injuries or chronic pain, there's usually something else there. And there are many concepts that have been known for thousands of years in Eastern medicine, such as low back pain is often tied to a concept of lack of support. Organs all represent different things in our body and different emotions like kidneys can represent, you know, fear and an inability to move forward. So when people are coming in with conditions, whether it's a physical condition or pain or something going on with the organ, it can truly mean that there is something deeper going on. And this is the work that actually clears it and gets it to finally go away. Mm -hmm. And what have you, I mean, because you do other things besides NLP, you've taken the level yeah. one training, you obviously were interested, you've obviously learned things that you're using with your clients, or you probably wouldn't be here. Yeah. And there was something else, I forget what you said, but there's some other, why don't you talk about those, some other things that you use? Sure. Okay. So I've been training in this work for quite a while because I discovered long ago that physical care only barely scratches the surface of holistic care. And I am trained in neuroemotional technique, rapid release method, or er, rapid rewire method, as well as Psych K. And then NLP is neuro linguistic programming. And all of these are similar, but they are tools that can be used in different ways. And one of the things I very much like about NLP is its ability to unpack things at a much deeper layer, including going into places that people might not be able to access on their own in the subconscious mind. The other yes. modalities can also do that, but NLP has a certain depth to it that I use when cases are deeper and more complicated and we need to work at deeper layers. And sometimes you don't need to go that deep. That's the other Correct. conversation we had. Sometimes you don't need to. And mm -hmm. I'm really interested in the Psych K from what you told me, because it's so similar to some of the techniques I use to release pain. Um, quite frankly, it almost sounds like it would be even faster than what I'm doing. <laughs> what I'm doing is pretty fast. Mm -hmm. So at some point, we'll have to talk. and Maybe we can exchange some ideas. Oh, definitely. Um, and just so people, people are probably going to wonder, Psych K, so it's psychological um, kinesiology? Yeah, so the name is Psych K, um, but the idea is that you're using the kinesiology and the neurological system of the body to literally ask the body questions. So we can tell ourselves that we feel fine in our con our conscious mind, but on a cellular level, our body doesn't agree. So what Psych K is about is literally asking the body directly through the nervous system and the muscular system to see if it actually agrees with what you're saying. So you can no longer lie to yourself and you can actually figure out when something is really affecting you, even if you think you're completely past it. And then if it is, you can clear it out. And one of the other benefits is you get to use neurological postures that actually help to imprint it into the brain faster. NLP does this in its own way. But yeah, that's the part that got my attention because, yeah. yes, there's a way of doing it in NLP, but not in the way that you were describing it to me. So I, yeah. I want to know what you're doing. Well, I'm a, So some people, they really struggle going from the mind to the body, right? Like it can be difficult, especially if you're in a state of stress, or it can be challenging for a little kid to do a you know hyper-focused, complex mental process. So the beauty of Psych K or some of these other modalities like NET is that they actually use the physical body to help help to structure the mind and because as soon as you're using your body you're actually creating changes in your brain already and it's not just for physical pain right yeah. it's for anything that's and right you can manifest success you can change your beliefs about something it's teaching you how to actually change your own neurology through thinking in a positive affirmative tense and when you start speaking like that and you learn how to speak without can't or won't or don't or no it changes how you perceive the world Mm -hmm. And I, I like the fact that, well, I agree with you when you said that some of the NLP concepts are a little too complex for children, but there's a lot of things I do with children using neurolinguistic programming and sometimes hypnosis, depending on the situation. Um, there are a lot of things that are just not going to work because they just, they're just not able to understand and comprehend. Um, but you're getting there in a different way through the body mm -hmm. 
And that's something that from what you've told me, the little bit that you shared with me, would be really simple to do with children. Absolutely. Yeah. And there are other ways, even in like neuroemotional technique, where if somebody comes in and there's just something wrong or they're dealing with a physical ailment and they don't even know where to start, they don't even know what they want to work on because they're just so lost in it, you can actually ask the unconscious mind what the priority is for them to work on for their highest good. And so you can help them find it at a subconscious level. And when you put someone into trance and do that, the communication is even more direct because there's yes. no filtration. And the beauty of all these techniques is that they're putting you into a programming state in the brain. So it's like updating your computer. You're in mm -hmm. a state where you literally get to rewrite, rewrite the programming, which you can't do in a completely conscious state. Like you have to get your brain into a certain brain brainwave state, which is essentially what trance is. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The fit. That it's the state. programming state. Yeah, and it's pretty easy to get people there when you know how. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, how can people find you? Sure. Um, so for myself, you can find me on social media at Dr. Christine Smith uh, or Depth Wellness, like you have depth. That is the name of my practice. So just depthwellness.com. I also have a whole YouTube channel, which I look forward to doing a uh, basically a podcast interview with you. And I think we're going to yeah. talk about some deeper concepts if you want to learn about this more. So feel free to check it out, reach out with any questions. Always here for you. Okay, perfect. Yes, we'll definitely do that. Yeah, that'll be All fun. Right. Thank you.